This mystic healer emits unbelievable power from the palm of his hand. I've never seen that happen before. An infrared camera captures the white hot heat. Ripley's Believe It or Not will be right back. What you are about to witness defies everything Western medicine has taught us about human physiology. This man treats patients with boiling point heat that comes right out of his hand. If you walk in here feeling 100%, you walk out feeling about 115, 110. The next day you're 160%. The amount of energy you feel, the feeling of well-being, the focus that you have is incredible. For the first time on television, Master Joe's remarkable ability will be visibly measured by a camera designed especially for the detection of heat. It's going up, it's still rising. Master Joe first learned to harness his inner energy more than 50 years ago while growing up in China. He learned Kung Fu from his grandfather at the age of seven. By the time he was 16, his uncle began teaching him an ancient practice called Qi Gong to help him maintain his body strength. He's been using it ever since, both as a student and as a master. Qi Gong is one of three ancient healing arts in China, along with acupuncture and herbology. Master Zhou says it can heal a variety of ailments. But instead of poking needles into pressure points, Master Zhou uses energy instead. For 2,000 years, practitioners and patients claim the release of this inner energy has helped ease the agony of everything from back pain to achy joints, even cancer. Ten years ago, Joe moved to the United States to practice his healing art here. One of his patients is Dr. Michael Upshur, a retired anesthesiologist who spent his entire career working with state-of-the-art medical equipment. There was one thing Western medicine couldn't do, ease the pain of his arthritis. That's when he reluctantly agreed to see this healer. After only three months, Dr. Upshur says the results he experienced defy scientific reasoning. I can't explain it in any way in terms of either Western medicine or what little I know of Western physics or chemistry or whatever. I wouldn't even know where to start. Master Joe begins with what looks like a simple massage. He then takes a piece of tin foil, dampens it with water, and wraps it inside a paper towel. He lays that on Dr. Upshur's chest and begins waving his hands over his body. What happens next is nothing short of amazing. Using time-lapse photography, watch as steam begins pouring off the paper towel in just 60 seconds. When I first had it done, I was face down. I couldn't see anything. It felt like he had a heating pad and he was dragging it around from place to place. And when it got hot in one place, he'd drag it to another. To get another more technical perspective on this treatment, Brad Risser, a specialist in infrared photography, recorded Master Joe during his session with Dr. Upshur. I wouldn't believe it, but once I saw it on the camera, I, you know, you would, you would pretty much have to believe it. I was trying to make sense of it, but I, I couldn't. I've never seen that happen before. This thermal camera captures what can't be seen with the naked eye. Through the viewfinder, watch the most intense spots as they change from red to white. In the upper right-hand corner, a thermometer tracks the temperature as it begins to climb. Master Joe can literally increase or decrease the heat at will just by focusing his energy at the rolled up towel. It's going up, it's about 150, close to 150 degrees. 160, still rising. The temperature climbs, 190, 195, finally topping at 202 degrees, just 10 degrees below the boiling point. Master Joe says the benefits of Qi Gong go beyond generating heat on command. He can also adjust his energy so that his body weight is shifted from his legs to his chest. He demonstrates this by stepping onto single sheets of paper stretched over box frames. To make sure the paper is as thin as it looks, 
we choose one at random and test it ourselves. Hold on to it. Yeah, hold, hold on to me. I thought I had it. <laughs> as soon as I gave it any weight, the thing just totally snapped. Now, Master Joe steps forward. He climbs onto the first sheet of paper. He slowly works his way onto the second sheet. It gives under his weight, but still doesn't tear. And then the third, making it all the way across without breaking through. Master Joe explains he can make himself lighter by controlling and focusing his energy. As for those who remain skeptical about his power to heal, Master Joe simply says that after treatment, everybody believes. It's, I can't, there's no way I can explain it, but it's real. We'll be right back.